hello and welcome all in this video so we are going to discuss about the parasitic adaptations which are particularly found in the tenia solium so here is the video about the parasitic adaptations which is found in the tenia solium so in case of tenia solium tenia solium is a endoparasite which is found generally in the human being and also in the intermediate host or secondary host that is the pig so this parasite having some adaptive radiations or has some adaptations that is called as parasitic adaptations so here are having some parasitic adaptations of the tenia solium so first of all we know that the body of this tenia solium is covered by the tegument and this external covering of the body can protect this organism against the digestive digestion secretion which takes place into the body of the host so body is protected by tegument and by this tegument they can, this tegument can allow free movement of water and nutrients but they can get the protection against the various type of digestive juices secreted by the host second one the internal osmotic pressure of pressure of this organism internal osmotic pressure of the body of this tenia solium is higher than the surrounding host fluid or tissue and the ph range is about 4 to 11 there were no locomotor organs are found in these organisms the cilia or other type of locomotor organs which are not found in this organism because they have no use in that for that particular organism for the locomotion but they having scolex with suckers and spines the scolex with suckers and spines are very useful for the attachment in the host intestine the suckers with the help of suckers and scolex or suckers with the help of the suckers which is found in the scolex on the scolex that is suckers and spines this can be used uh, for the free attachment of this organism into the host body particularly on the intestine or intestinal walls then elementary canal is absent in this organism because they do not need the elementary canal or digestive system because they can get readily available digestive food of the host through their general body surface they can get the ready made food material digestive food material by the host so they do not having the elementary canal and digestive system again circulatory respiratory and sense organs are also poor developed they are not needed for uh, for the development of this organism so these can be poor developed circulatory respiratory system sense sense organs are poor developed respiration is anaerobic because in the host body the free oxygen is not available so the respiration is anaerobic type of respiration but the reproductive system is well developed in these organisms they can reproduce or they can produce a large number of eggs we know that there are having 40000 eggs per proteids so the reproductive system is well developed and they can also having the protective covering of the shell and capsule around the embryo shell and capsule is the envelope which is found around the embryo and due to which they get protection during unfavorable condition and one of the parasitic adaptation of this tenia solium that is here is having hermaphroditism hermaphrodite condition is found in these organisms fertilization can be takes place within same proglutid or we can, there are having some cross fertilization with another proglutids in the same worm so these are some different type of adaptations particularly found in the tenia solium 